The uh, trial of the Gestapo guards was yes. that by the Allied military tribunal yes. or by the British? Right, British. So by the British themselves, All right, not, yeah. not yes. the no, military no. tribunal no, 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 that no, no, did no. Uh, Nuremberg. No, no, it was separate. It was another trial. And it All was right. in Hamburg. It was in uh, Hamburg. Hamburg. Yes. So that stuff about Steve McQueen and the motorcycle is all fake, but then about the guy flying is all fake. Uh, not exactly. Uh, you, you, you may remember from the movie the, 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 the It was another escape when the two... Yes. Well, I researched that trial in Hamburg that the British did of the Gestapo guards. I've never heard of that before. And uh, I can't promise you that exactly this stove was uh, was covering the tunnel, but I have no evidence, no proof that it wasn't. Uh, actually, in each corner, as you see, the floor is uh, is made from from wood, but in each corner of the of the of the room was the kind of foundation here. So, of course, it was the chimney here. So they every time they had to move the stove, they made a special trap door here in this foundation. So every time when they let people go down, they had to move the stove, open the trap door, then close the trap door, move the stove back. And it took seconds. It took seconds to, to make this. Because there was there were only there was a special team and they, they made only this. They they were just they were they were called Trap fuelers, trap, <laughs> trap officers. Yes, yes. And they were, they, their job was only opening and closing the the trap. So they they made it in a few seconds, because they were they were they were because every time they 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 they, they had to be uh, because uh, there were some German guards around. Of course, there was a security system. So if they heard the sign, uh, the it, the sign was "Gun in a block." Gun in a block. Gun. The goons were German guards. They were called goons. For example, uh, uh, the, the sentry tower was called Gun Box. So the Germans were called goons. Gun in a block. So they had to, emergency situation, they had to open or close the, the trap door to the town. So it took seconds. What about the chimney? Mm -hmm. From the stove. Yes. Did they disconnect it or did they have yes, enough? Yes. Yes. They had a special connection. Oh, okay. Extension for the for the stove, because during the winter when the when the stove was uh, hot, 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 they had to special pipe to connect the the the, the chimney. It was all well organized, well prepared, every detail. 
And there was a down, down there, uh, was a special, there were three rooms, it was a special workshop because it's very easy to dig the tunnel here because the sand, I mean the soil is very soft, you can dig with your hand. But the danger is that it's still collapsing. Mm -hmm. So they had to build a special wooden construction inside. Oh. Yes. So they they used they used thousands of bed boards. Mm -hmm. Yes, bed boards mm -hmm. like this. So this is actually size of the tunnel. Oh, this is actually size of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. oh, the tunnel had uh, floor, walls, and the roof. They spent thousands of bed boards like this. And I asked one of the veterans, how did you explain missing right. boards in, the, in, the, in your beds? He said, we said to Germans, we burned them in the stove because it was hot. It was cold. You, you had to give us new ones. Because another way, we, we said to the, we, we, we will uh, send a message to the Red Cross. And the, the Germans had to deliver them new, new bedboards, and they took them to the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> that's yes, that's true. And and as as we see uh, another room, we see another room. We will see real actual size of the collecting the bedboards. Yeah. 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 He spends yeah. trying to jump over yeah. the bed, and he collapsed down. Right. Right. For the fresh air inside the tunnel. Uh, very primitive tools. Uh, it was made from the from the gramophone spring inside from the gramophone to prepare the the boards, the wooden construction. So you can see you can see some pictures from the movie. You can see some uh, drawings made by uh, one of the prisoners, and of course the the pictures of the real escapees. And there were two trolleys like this in, in, in the tunnel. And this is the real sand from the carrot, the from carrot. That's the soil from dragon. Wow. Very easy to dig, like on the like on the sea, like on the beach. It's very easy to dig, but the danger is it's still collapsed. So you have to build a frame, special construction, shoring all long long. Uh, the whole, the whole construction, the whole town must be protected. So Charles Bronson is, is driving uh, uh, the trolley like this. So as I said, everything here from the movie is very accurate because because of the Wally Floody, because of the Canadian Wally Floody who was the, uh, the advisor in the, during the movie. So Roger Bushell, the squadron leader Roger Bushell, the mastermind of the great estate and uh, the, the others. We missed some pictures, we don't have to use a new picture of John Mark. How many feet is it bigger than that? Sorry? How many feet horizontally did they bigger than that? How many? How, 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 far, how far did they dance the tunnel? In one day. Uh, it depends. It depends on the team. Uh, usually, usually they were able to go one meter. Because every time you need, you need to build a frame, you need to carry the sand. It, it, it wasn't so fast, it, it wasn't very fast. One meter, so it means, how many feet is one meter? Three. Three, three. three, feet, three feet a day, or a ship, because they, they, they walk, they walk during the days, and during, especially during the nights, because sometimes during the day, the Germans, they organized special roll call, appell, to, to count them. So, if they were not able to go to the appel, the friends, the other prisoners, they made some tricks during the counting. Because they were standing, usually they were standing in the rows of five. So sometimes they, 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 they took a doll with the, with, the, with the uniform and they put in the middle of the row. Oh, wow. So what, the, the, the Germans, they, they, they counted only the rows. They, they couldn't ins they they they, uh, they they couldn't go inside the formation. They just collect. They, they, they just they were just counting the rows. One, two, three, four, five. And and when the when the doll was was standing in the middle, they couldn't see. But it was a really emergency situation. Usually they knew 
that the appeal will be soon, you are able to escape from the from the tunnel and go to the to the appeal. Because of the very well organized security system. Sometimes the German guards, the friends, the friends, they say, look, they are they are going to organize day appeal tomorrow, so be careful. Uh, powder meal, coffee, everything. Cigarettes. 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 They so they traded with the Germans. They just pay for the information. For example, three, one year before the Great Escape, uh, in East Compound, in British Compound, the group of officers they built the voting horse like this, and inside there was a one man inside who was digging the tunnel. <laughs> yes. Uh, every time they had to move this, the horse back to the hut, so every time they had to cover the, the, the entrance, it took four months to build a tunnel which was 40 meters long, and they did it. These three officers, they escaped in the night of 29 of October 43. And they escaped also north to the Baltic coast, to, the, to, to, to Stettin and Dansk, and they escaped to Sweden. It was, it, was called, it was called the wooden horse, the wooden horse. So, Eric Williams wrote a book called Wooden Horse, and Oliver Philpott wrote a book called Stolen Journey. And, uh, and Eric Williams was also author of the script of the movie. Brits made a movie in 1950 called The Wooden Horse. And it's very, very accurate. Movie. So, as I said, they have, it took four months to build the tunnel without any shoring. It was only two meters deep, not so, not so deep. And they made it. They made it. Home. So after after one week they were free, and and they sent a postcard to the camp. We made. <laughs> so you can imagine what was what what the what the fun. Did they do it in or did they? No, no, no. It was it was because they had a. It was possible to send a, send a postcards and letters from from the, from the camp and to the camp, and they just wrote, we made it. And everybody now knew what what does it mean. I'm surprised the Germans are that you know. Of course, the the uh, each each um, yes, the, the, the all letters were sent by by young, young German girls, students. They just spoke uh, English, but uh, they were able to smuggle pretty secret information in the letters. So that they they made a special codes, but in the beginning. Where the Germans were not so, you know, carefully. So then the Germans became smart and they started to send the, the letters. But at the beginning it wasn't so, you know, straight. So they, they, they escaped, they made it, and, and it was it was great success for the success for the for the prisoners. Did you make it to a Swedish flavor? Yes, to the Swiss, yes, to Swiss. Dance in and station. Uh, Philpott escaped to Gdansk and Williams and Kodner to Stettin. And they've met in Sweden. This is the wing of P-17. Of course, a small part of the wing. But you can see a nice star here. And we found it recently, so investigation in progress. Uh, is this the horse? No, no, no. This is the modern. Uh, we borrow. We we, we learned it from the from the local school for the reenactment. Okay. No, no. It's not. No, it has nothing to do with the with, with the escape. The crash site of this plane was near Brandenburg in Germany, town of Brandenburg. As you see, it was hit by flak artillery. Uh, so now we're trying to to find uh, more information about about the, the, the crash, the plane, and the crew, of course. Uh, if he was senior American officer, 
So he, I think uh, Clark died in 2009 or 8. Albert P. Clark. He, he lived in Colorado Springs. Okay. So he was a special collection in the, the Yes, place. and he, he made a special collection. He, he asked his friends. They donated yeah, yeah, all, yeah. and now you can see this in the library. Yeah. There's a huge. It's, I wasn't able to see everything during one day because they gave us so many boxes with, with, uh, with documents. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know what what should I. Yeah, it was it was it was very exciting. Yeah. And to see the academy, to meet the cadets and to talk to cadets. It's beautiful it's setting, beautiful. isn't it? And the, yeah, the mountains. Yeah. Uh, and we had a we had a beautiful weather. So in their church. We only we had two hours north. Yeah, we so. were, yeah. Hey, when you go there, they got a two beer cake tap. Much further, yes. So you can see how close the exit from the tunnel was. I think that's where the uh, guard post was. From the tower. Huh? Yes. So that's the exit and kind of uh, outline of the of the tunnel. So the old woods um, are they much thicker trees then? Much so further. Older. Yeah, but they're much thicker and yes, able to yes, hide better. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. And they were further. Much further, yes, much about uh, 10 meters further. So, so behind the road, you can see the old stones, the old German road. Behind the road was the line, a line of without trees, and then trees. So the, the idea, the plan was to, to, to go to the trees, but they were too short, and then they had to go outside near the tower. So, <laughs> actually, the the tower, it was it, it was no, it wasn't. A you can kind of get an idea because it looks like Dixie, maybe at the very end down there. Warren's got it. Is it Warren? Yeah. Alright, people in the middle. Guys, we're getting back to the And she saw the guard saw the truck in the snow. And he started to look around and he saw the, the hole and the, and the, the man laying down. So, so he started to take, so start to take his gun. The guys from the from the trees they start to scream, don't shoot, don't shoot, guards, don't shoot. They 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 knew each other. They knew all the guards. So they start to scream, don't shoot. And he started to look around and he fired. Probably he it was um, he fired accidentally during the you know but the fire was the was the sign. So all guards came very soon. Guys from the trees, they ran away. <laughs> and the guys who the guy who was laying down, he also ran away. Uh, before the before the guard the dogs came here. So the last four who they were waiting in the in the shaft were taken and they were sent to the cooler, which is actually behind the tower. You will see the floor of the of the cooler. And on the other side would be a uh, hospital, the longest building in the in the camp. The hospital. And then you have about 0 0.5 miles from here to the train station. Mm. You can hear the trains from here. Mm. So they, they, some of them, they, the first group, uh, about 11 or 1 a.m. when they came from the from the tunnel, they, they went straight to the train station. But it, it was about it was a group about 20 people. The others decide to go on foot, and they 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 they, they went to the north to the to the south. Hmm. And they were, and actually, those who decide to walk, they were captured very soon hmm. because they missed, they they've lost the the, the way mm -hmm. because there are huge, huge forests around mm -hmm. around, around the snow. snow. And the, yes, as, yeah. yes, and they were captured. So, twenty people were able to to catch the train. Uh, in the night, it was the air raid, air raid, but not for for the town because the town was never bombed. They are, the air ride was for the other towns, so when when they heard the alarm, so they stopped all trains. So guys who went from the tunnel, they went they went to the train station, and there was no trains, so they they didn't know what to do. Some of them they decided to stay in the train station, but it was dangerous because there were many German guards around, civilians. A group of twelve decided to walk along the 
railway and they catch the train they catch the train on the next yeah. station mm -hmm. about about five miles and they they some decide to go on foot and they were captured so as i said most most of them were captured yeah. in a few days mm -hmm. just in two days because they missed the road they, 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 that was that, that situation so what is the latin inscription on the, on the flag uh, this is where the foundation was for that guard tower. They moved it. But look how close it was to the tunnel. I mean, five yards, six yards. Yes, yes. With the hospital and the cooler. So the main camp actually was here. So the first row of, of the huts, so 104, 105, 106. Uh, 102, 103, and another row, another row, like like in the model in the museum. But, and the trees, they No trees. The, they, 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 the Germans, they, they cut all trees. Mm -hmm. So it was like, like, a, like a desert. How do we know uh, the configuration of the camp? Did, we, did somebody find uh, the, the draw, uh, drawings? Uh, for example, at the museum, in the museum, you have a great it's a long time. Uh, symbolic symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> but Moses. The the width of the tunnel. Uh, oh. all, the, all the names. Uh, the blue ones are these who survived. I mean, 23 oh. were captured and sent back to the camp. Oh. The black ones, the black ones were killed by Gestapo. Mm. 50. Yeah. Same down. We don't know. That. We don't know. They, 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 they made it home. Do they know how they were hiding this by Probably uh, as uh, one month before the Great Escape, uh, the Germans they collected 19 people from the escape committee, and without any chance to contact with any, with, with, with the guys from the camp, they were taken from this camp, and they were sent to the other camp north from the town, north of, north of the town. I think that they they were they had no chance to tell to the others how far we are, how long we need to go. Oh. Uh, and including in this group of 19 was Canadian officer Wally Flody, who was mm -hmm. the main engineer. Probably the Germans they knew something because they they.